You ever been to a wine shop and you're staring at the shelves and you're like, what do I do? Region number one, Beaujolais. Where is Beaujolais? Well, it's in South Central France. And in the South Central France, it's called a temperate climate. What that means is it can snow up until when they harvest grapes, but in the summer, it can be really hot. And they only do one variety, Gamay. It's a red wine grape. The beauty of Beaujolais wines made from the Gamay grape is they are generally gonna be light, aromatic, and perfumed. They can have a little bit of concentration to them, but they are great chilled. They also can be very light and fruity depending on where in the region you're buying from. So in Beaujolais, there are 10 different communes called Cruz, and each commune has a name. If you wanna spend a little bit of money, go for one of those. But if it's a Tuesday night, you want a chilled red bottle of wine, get what's called a Beaujolais Village. It's just a wine made outside those Cruz. Delicious. Region two is Bordeaux. It's gonna be okay. Bordeaux is in the southwestern coast of France, about a six hour drive from Paris. And the climate here is very influenced by the Atlantic Ocean. It's very mild. And that beautiful air goes all the way inland and cools the grapes. Now, the varieties they play around with here are Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cab Franc for reds, a little bit of Petit Verdot and sometimes Malbec. Yeah, it's from here, it's pretty cool. And for whites, they do Sauvignon Blanc and a grape called Semillon. They often blend them together and they're really affordable. You're gonna get big, bold red wines with a really good tannin structure and these wines can age for like 30 plus years. Or you can also get big, beautiful, powerful red wines, but a little more supple and not as tannic. And your wine merchant will know what I'm talking about. For white, this is really cool. Sauvignon Blanc, very aromatic. Semillon, a little earthy and sweet. You put those two together, you get a really nice dry white wine with a slight hint of sweet depth to it. They're really great for just chilling with a picnic or any dinner, really. So if you're getting a white wine from Bordeaux, you're probably gonna get a blend of Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. So when you're in a wine shop, and you're looking at the reds. When you want a tannic one, you say, I would like a red wine from the left bank of Bordeaux. If you want a supple wine, say, I want a wine from the right bank of Bordeaux. These two areas define these styles. Region three, Tuscany, or as they say, Toscana. Tuscany is tucked into the central part of Italy, right there in the central part of the boot. Now in the central part of Tuscany, it's very hilly with higher elevation, different soils, and the wines can be a little more lifted with more acidity, whereas in the valleys and the warmer areas, they can be a little more dense. Now Tuscany is varied. There's a lot going on there. Like I said, it's a study in Sangiovese. Everywhere you go, the grape expresses itself in a different way. Then you have the international varieties and all that. I would start with Chianti. It's famous. We all know Chianti. In the Chianti Hills, they do Sangiovese. They blend it with some native varieties, but it's beautiful and tart with cranberries and cherries and great acidity. It's amazing food wine. It's a good way to get introduced to the Tuscan region. Next time you're in a wine shop, and you're looking at Tuscany, I would say start with Chianti. Get a feel for it. But when you're done, go back and say, hey, that was delicious. I wanna try another version of Sangiovese from Tuscany. Where should I go? It's gonna be fun. So now you have everything you need for some of the most popular regions in the world so you can gain confidence when you're buying wine either at a restaurant or at a wine shop. Let me know what regions you wanna know about. We can do this again. I wanna do this again. You wanna do this again? Let's do it again.